She didn't hug me today either. It's the Frank and Friends <laughs> show. I'm Frank Murphy. I'm Catherine Frady. Uh, you don't get any hugs anymore. Well, if we need to have a code so that I'll know ahead of time oh, if good. it's a huggable event or a non-huggable event. I mean, I'm fine. I'm fine too. So, yeah. I mean, there's no, I mean, it's there's like, no, like yeah. I pointed out, <laughs> we, we see each other frequently. I'm good. We don't have a hug relationship. That's right. But if we have to put on the show, if we have to. I don't have to. Yeah. I just know that's no, no more hugs. What I'm Frank also Murphy. saying, though, is <laughs> when you come off stage after no. the Copper Queen no. and we're all giving you flowers. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do to you what you did to me and I can't breathe. Oh. I'm just going to snub you. I'm just going to be like. But I'm saying that <laughs> I'll, I'll put on the show. If we, have to, if we have to do it for show, I'll do it for show. No. Okay. I don't Fine. do things for show. Authenticity. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least give me a little, make, make it a little more obvious. No. I was like, no. I'm like, wait, is she trying, to ta- <laughs> she trying to tackle Jerry? What's happening? <laughs> I already tackled Jerry. All right. Okay. Yeah. Hey, um, thank you so much for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing. Smashing that button. And uh, getting notifications on our YouTube channel. We do uh, want you to help us get to a thousand subscribers so we can do more exciting live things and um, other I mean there's a lot of advantages once we get to that thousand subscriber mark in fact if we get to a th- once we get to a thousand subscribers I will hug Catherine Frady on camera <gasps> live on camera <laughs> I don't know I haven't agreed to this <laughs> okay well we'll, we'll just we'll, we'll here, air hug here's what we'll do we'll, we'll, we'll like <laughs> we'll pretend try to work out the signals <laughs> I'm coming in too soon. No, I better back off. <laughs> no. 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 I'm, d- I'm done? Yeah, you're done. It's over. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. I mean, I'm fine. I'm not, it's like I'm, not like I'm missing out on anything. I mean... <laughs> Who's to say? <laughs> uh, so, uh, also, we've got merchandise. The Frank and Friends show merchandise. We'd hope that you'd buy some of it and uh, support the show. It helps pay for things like these batteries... Here. And we've got all sorts of fun stuff like the cell phone cases and the sweatshirts. I'm not and the selling. I'm not selling. We're not selling shoot. batteries. I need that one back. I'm not selling batteries, but uh, we can find all you're of buying batteries with the uh, the or the uh, what do you call proceeds. Absolutely. Yeah. You can find all of that at frankandfriendshow.com backslash store. <sighs> oh, goodness. So, <laughs> all right. Oh, that was funny. That was um, fun to us, but you like know what me. brings me back down to earth is people who dislike me strongly. <laughs> that will bring you back down to earth pretty quickly. Yeah. So, but there's no one who dislikes you strongly. Well, I mean, I don't maybe not know. They don't it, tell me to my face. They well, do no. it. Be, they do it behind your back. That's the worst. If you're yeah. gonna dislike us strongly, please tell us into our faces. Yes, it's normally behind the back under the guise of an anonymous troll. Oh. Um, but here's an example of this. Um, there's a, a DJ um, that I don't have, never worked with, um, not even at the same station, but we were at an event together and I was excited to be there and I was hoping to come back. It was an annual event and I was excited to be participating. Yeah. So I took a picture or had Jerry actually take a picture of the two of us with a, a nicer camera and I posted it on Facebook because I thought we looked good. Well, um, she got very upset. <laughs> the, not my wife, the, this DJ, and I guess didn't like the way she looked in the picture which surprised me because I looked at the picture and thought, well, that's what she actually looks like. You thought it was good? I thought it was an accurate representation of well, her face. Well, you weren't going to like post a po- picture that's like not good. But it was not yeah. good enough. So um, that ended uh, not only our friendship, but I was never invited back to do that that's event with her. That's interesting that just a photo wouldn't have that effect. Well, me, I, what I did was I cropped her out of it and posted my half. Was that... That, that? might have done it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... She said take me I out mean, of- she shouldn't have taken it personally. I mean, it's not as if you even, like, hug people that you know. <laughs> so cutting people out of photos that you don't know. That she didn't want to be in. You know, yeah. I mean, exactly. I, I know her kind of well. I thought I knew her, but mm-hmm. so that... Might have been um, cutting her That might have been the end of that. Yeah. You know? Anyway, so yeah. she doesn't live here anymore, so it doesn't really matter. But sure. the, the point was that um, uh, the, someone asked me, what happened to that lady? Where did she go? What, what, why is she leaving town? I'm like, I don't why know. Why did she disappear when you cut her out of your phone? Obviously, I'm not yeah. in communication with her. We're, I, we're not you know, close. So I don't know. I didn't know she had left her job. I didn't know she had moved. I didn't know any of these things. And I'm trying to figure out, well, how can I find the answer out. to that? Mm-hmm. And I thought, well, maybe someone has commented on it in uh, one of these. I didn't see anything on Facebook, but there maybe someone put it on the uh, 
radio discussion bulletin boards. And I wish I hadn't thought of that. And what are the radio discussion bulletin boards? Well, they must have something like this in opera, where it's like goes back really to the pre-social media days of the internet, where you sign up with a fake name. You know, I think there's someone on there who goes by Great Oldies, who I think maybe I know who it is. But there's a few other people you can kind of like, there's Bob somebody, Bob Radio or Bob Knoxville. And I'm like, I know a few Bobs. Maybe that could be a real person. Sure. Possibly. Sure. But then others just use annoying, totally you know, fake names to hide their true identity so that they can post hateful and um, negative things, you know, really just to get you riled up. Right. Now, they, is this on Facebook? Like a no, Facebook page? no, this is a separate website. Oh, wow. That is a, a series of discussion boards. And you have to have like a membership to be well, you part can of read it if you want to post. Okay. But you can read them. Anyone can read them. So they do have things like this for opera, but they're on Facebook. They're, well, but it's the same. It's where it's it the evolved. Same, same concept. Yeah, just radio's yeah. been around for a hundred years. So, you know, that some of these things, opera's been around for longer. Um, but this, these boards have been around. I right. guess, yeah. you know, these concepts. Yeah. So um, I, don't know, I find on there that, oh, she moved. And I send it to the guy. The guy who asked me, I was Steve from Steve's Tree Service. He's like, whatever happened to that DJ I like? I'm like, well, I'm still here. I'm not, only, <laughs> not you. <laughs> I know where you are. Not you. The, um, I said, the one well, that I like. Yeah, she moved. So and to be closer to family, sounds lovely. Oh, much success to her. I wish her well. I mean, I don't dislike her. I, I wish her well. So... Um, I find it on the boards, and then I see another thread about the station where I work. Uh oh. And I'm like, ah. And I don't wish, read it, don't read I, it, don't read it. You should never read the comments. I, I did. That's right. You should never read the comments. I do it all the time, but that's what James keeps telling me. Don't read the comments. So I'm, I'm done, though. Thankfully, I mean, I'm just done because they, they had nothing to say about me. Uh, it was. It was a waste of my time. They were just complaining about the station where I work. Yeah. Because they don't like the songs or they don't like something. They don't like the... Actually, I don't really think... They don't like the signal strength. No, it's really There's nothing that they you can do about the signal enough, strength. It's really that they don't have anything going on in their lives, and so they spend their day talking about what other people should be doing with theirs. Yeah. Like, oh, they don't have enough signal. They should, uh, they should turn off and save the electricity. Like, well... <laughs> They should move their signal to another part of town. Like you can't. The government regulates all of that. Right. You don't just pick up your antenna. I mean, you can apply to move it a little closer, but you can't. I don't know. So it's stuff that's completely out of out of control. Sure. Out of uh, my control. There's nothing I can do about any of this. Right. You know, I'm, I'm not an engineer. I don't know anything about all of this. And they're just blah, 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 going on and on and spiraling and just trying to get you to bite and take the bait. Yeah. And all these other good people are taking the bait and coming to the defense of the station where I work just so this guy can then jump on them and, and, and attack, something else. attack them for being stupid. And why? Why? I don't know. It's such a waste of time and energy. Uh, the same thing happens on this forum. I actually got off of the forum a couple of years ago because I just couldn't handle it anymore. It's just all these singers complaining about the industry, complaining about singers, complaining about companies. They probably complain about me. I don't yeah. know. I'm not there anymore, so complain away. <laughs> yeah, but you know what I mean? But they'll say something that is blatantly erroneous and, and insist that it's true. Right. And that's the bait. That's the trick. It's you, you then want to it show it. Yeah. that this person is clearly wrong and mm -hmm. therefore has no credibility, even though they're the loudest voice on the forum. Right. You want to be able to, def to refute what they say, but that's the trick. They know yep. that what they're posting is blatantly wrong, and that's the enticement to get you to try to get... They want you to, to bite and come on and try to correct them so that they can engage. Yeah. That's they want to debate. Right. And it's a waste of time. Yeah, because they're not they're not going to you're not going to change their mind because they're just going to come up with some other falsehood. Right. That, you know, they're they're full of them. They're nonstop. Because even if they I think a lot of times that they think that they're right, that they don't really? actually know that they're wrong, but they just have so little <laughs> like information that they're just like making up in their minds how they think things should work. Oh. and They don't know. See, but a lot of times they spout off and say without revealing because like, they will never tell you who they are. But they'll That's just terrible. say, I've got more experience than any of you. And, and then so all these dozens of posts are like, well, then if you're, prove it. Say right. your name. Say what station right. you worked at. Say anything about true about yourself. And he, he won't. 
Right. So at least on the Facebook page, like you can actually see who the singers are who are saying that. So I'm like, oh, great, cool. I don't want to work with you. I don't want to work with you. <laughs> I don't want to work with you. And that's why I stayed on it for a, a decent amount of time. For because, casting purposes? <laughs> yes. So at least then I knew who the negative ninnies were that I didn't want to work with. Uh, yeah. The nattering nabobs of negativism yeah, is exactly. an old phrase from um, the 60s. Yeah. Wow. I, yeah. Uh, so that was, um, so I wish I hadn't looked at yeah. the stupid participation, I mean, the um, discussion, blah, blah, blah boards. I mean, yeah. Come on. Yeah. I can spend, I can better things I can do. I can do my gardening. I can do, you Yeah, know. go to Lakeshore Park, which I went to. Oh, tell me. Yeah. I suggested this on you a previous did. episode where I got to see celebrity Heather Walliga. That's right. Yeah. So I was unloading some props from I Can't Breathe Still. It lingers in the car and in the car yeah so we took those back over to the university and it was a beautiful day and james was with me and we had sasha there and so we thought let's just drive back and see what this lakeshore park is all about and we'd seen i know we've driven by it a hundred oh, yeah, times yeah. but i had no idea you know because there's that big building on the hill yeah it used to be a mental asylum that's mental what hospital. james was saying yeah and you don't realize over the hill how big it is how big it is right when you drive around the side of it it's you just see one side of the hill and right you're like oh okay it's a park with a hill and then you keep going and you see like the graveyard and on the other side on of the, the other street. side of the street right yeah so you don't realize it but we turned in there and this place is ginormous <laughs> jerry and i were going to the park to go for a walk the other day and there's uh-huh. somebody sitting in the graveyard and i with his dog and i said making jokes like oh if only there were a park nearby <laughs> where i could go and run around with my dog <laughs> Of course, that's probably not why they were sitting in that's the cemetery, not, but, but we were yeah. imagining. Yeah. So, yeah. So, you go in there, and you, you go use in lots of dogs, lots of people. Mm-hmm. They and have trails, of- and you can see the the river. And we actually went up to the the building first. Mm-hmm. Have you been up there? The HGTV lookout? Yes. Can you actually look out some? I mean... Well, no, that part with the, the newer part. marble in front of the older building. Yeah, it's beautiful. You can rent that out for private parties. I saw that. I thought, this could be a cool place for a fundraising event. And down below, they've got like a chapel. I saw the chapel. with the, I thought that would be a great place for a show, too. I can't go anywhere without seeing venues. Well, I looked, when I looked at the map online, there's um, plans for at least two amphitheaters. Oh, nice. And I, don't, I haven't seen them yet. I don't know that they've built those yet. But that there's, would be fabulous. But there's a lot going on. Yeah. At Lakeshore Park. Everybody knows where it is. There's a lot of parking, you know. Everybody. I did not know. But. Well, I mean, you should know where it is. You should. It's I great. mean, it's at, the, it's at the heart of West Knoxville, even. It's, you know, well, what would you call it? Um, North Shore and Lions View? Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. It's right there. It's like our own Central Park. It does have that feel to it. It does. Except for the hills. And I was thinking it would be fun to, like, roll the boys down the hill when they come <laughs> visit. It would be. Yeah, or they yeah. can do it themselves. You know, they're yeah. rough and tumble. But yeah, I, I, so Jerry and I have gone there now three times to walk. Nice. And um, I'm, I don't. It seems silly to me. I, I, I don't know how. I, I've had this argument so many times over the years, and I've obviously lost it now, because I would say, why do we need to drive over there to go for a walk when we have a street in front of our house? We could just walk around the, and and I and I like to walk around my subdivision. It's a very, it's a you know not technically a cul-de-sac, but it doesn't have any through traffic either. Sure. So it's a fairly quiet subdivision. Sure. It's got hills. Sure. And people walk same. all the time. It's 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 about going somewhere. I think, and you feel like you're out. You know, even though you're, it, it's exactly <laughs> the same thing. <laughs> but how long does it take you to get around like the trail? I don't it's, know. It's big. We didn't do the full trail. Yeah, we didn't either. We had to a point where um, one day, I guess it was Saturday, we went, um, we no, were, maybe it was a week ago, and it was windy. It was super windy. We were there the same day. Oh. The windy Saturday. Yeah. Well, the part over uh, on one corner of the park, that's a wastewater treatment plant. Okay. And we were getting closer, and I'm just noticing the wind and this water, this, this mist uh, and I said, we're just, and we ended up cutting across the lawn, which, according to Jerry's Fitbit, took us, she said, we really were off pace. We were, really went slow on that 1. Point mile, 1.8 miles or whatever we just did. I'm like, yeah, well, because we were trudging through the grass to get away the from the... the same thing. That's hilarious. <laughs> well, we were over by the chapel, and then I was like, look, there's water there. Let's go. So we went from the chapel and across the, the, grass. the grass to get to the pathway there. Yeah. And then we took the path back. Yeah. And we got confused because Jerry, I said, this grass is hard. And she's like, 
No, it's soft. I mean, it's difficult. It's, yeah. not, it's hard, difficult to walk across because it was a little soft. Uneven and, and soft, uneven. yeah. And but that's why they have these beautiful paths and trails that you're supposed to walk on, not, you know. I mean, you can go, like, take a picnic blanket. Did you see hammocks? We saw an amazing hammocks. number of hammocks, and I thought that was weird. Yeah. Do you? Well, I don't know. I mean, I guess if you uh, live in an apartment or a dorm, why you not? You see them on campus a lot. Bring a hammock. But this one guy set up the hammock. Next to the parking lot. I mean, he didn't. He, his car is here. There's two feet of space, and then he's got the last. Took the last parking spot against the edge of the, the okay. parking lot, and he's put up his hammock. And now he wants his girlfriend to jump in with him. That's funny. Except he's already in there. Okay. And she can't get in. Well, sure. It's challenging. Right. <laughs> so, and Jerry and I are looking at this guy and going, well, why don't you, dumbass, get out of the hammock right. and hoist her into it, and then you climb in. Or get in at the same time. That's really the best. Oh, all right. Well, whatever. They, somehow they did it. We stopped looking. <laughs> and, when we, and when we looked again, they were both in it. I'm like, well, I guess they figured that out. That's good. That's so good. that's that's fantastic. But they do have beautiful trees beautiful at Lakeshore trees, Park. Yeah, it's, a, it's great. I mean, I am curious how long the trails take. I, I noticed there's so many different places to park, too. I mean, we were kind of just yeah. like, where should we go? I don't, we parked in a shady there. spot. So instead of, we also figured if you park at the top of the hill, then when you, after you've walked a mile or two, you have to go you've got up. to finish by going uphill. That's so horrible. we parked at the bottom of the hill Same. and walked up first and then finished at the bottom level. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Why, why, How did we you? not see each other? <laughs> that park is huge. <laughs> so you're telling me we were there the same day <laughs> walking the same <laughs> parking in the same place. <laughs> You know what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to start doing share my location. On <laughs> Where are you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, could, we could get material for a show. <laughs> yeah, because we're lacking in material. <laughs> yeah. Another instance to not hug. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And our spouses will look at what yeah. this is these two. We'll just put our big glasses on. And are they mad at each other? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what else you can do with beautiful trees like the ones in that park? You can cut them down. <laughs> Well, yeah, I guess I guess you could. But <laughs> what you would do is you would protect the beautiful trees and cut down the ugly trees near them. True. To yeah. better feature the beautiful tree. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like you in an opera. We'll get rid of all those negative Nellies. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and we'll just feature the good tree. Um, the Steve's Tree Service, of course, is the one. And they were doing some uh, tree work over there. But they have... Um, oh, nice. With city employees doing that one. Okay. But Steve, I hear the, the buzz saws and I'll get the text from Steve. I'm in your area. I'm a mile away. I'm like... And I can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> At least he lets you know where he is. <laughs> like you. Exactly. <laughs> But uh, Steve does a fine job of uh, taking care of trees, and he can do it for you, too. You want to make sure you call Steve and Renee and find out more about um, whatever it is your needs. You know, you've got weed trees. Like, there's one out here that my wife looked out and said, when did that tree appear? Um, it's Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's a... Uh, what would you call it? A Bradford? Is it a Bradford pear? Bradford pear? Are those the bad ones? Yeah, yeah. but it's relatively young, and it okay. just—it's there. It wasn't. It's. It looks like it, maybe is two years old or something like that. Oh, but wow. it was hiding behind some other garbage trees. Right. And as things get cleared out, you start noticing. Oh, well, we should have taken that one out too. Right. We probably missed it when it was little. Now time to call Steve. Now it's a tree, and we got to get rid of it because um, it's encroaching. On, on another tree's, you know, Well, turf. and all that wind and the storms and everything, they, they tend to show you which trees need to come down and which yeah. limbs are really needing help. So Exactly. It's exactly. time to call it Steve's Tree Service. And it is a good time to do it before they get too leafy. I mean, it's always, it's always a good time to get your trees down, but I think um, late winter, early spring is especially good yeah. to clean up and get ready for the, the growing season and, uh, and be psyched about that. And they'll take care of, no problem is too big, no problem is too small for them. They'll get their tree climbing up on the big trees and vum, 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 slice them and dice them into chunks and bring it down or um, slice them into cookies well if you wanted a tree cookie I have a, a he gave me a tree cookie that's nice. a like a lumberjack feud thing they give you a slice of the tree yeah, the tree yeah yeah. I mean, I didn't. I didn't have any emotional attachment to that tree because I wanted it dead. But <laughs> <laughs> but now it's like a reminder of what happens. <laughs> 
when you don't like a tree, you know. But if you have a dead tree, the longer you wait to get it taken care of, the more likely it's going to fall down and cause other damage on your property. That's you know, true. you don't need it landing on your car That's or true. your house mm -hmm. when uh, they, that can be easily prevented. So have uh, Steve and Renee come out and take a look around at your property. I'm sure that you've got a tree in mind that needs tending, whether it just needs to be trimmed or removed. And customers always are satisfied with Steve and Renee. Great reviews online. And um, they, they like working with elderly people, making sure that they you know, don't get ripped off and are well oh, ta nice. taken care of. Uh, the estimates are reasonable. And I mean, I, when I met Steve, he was like the third or fourth estimate that I got for oh, the wow. job. And I realized, well, he's not, it's it's fair. It's within within the range of what I expected to pay. But I'm getting a better deal out of it. Nice. It's a long story, but the other guys wanted to take down the fence so they could bring in their heavy equipment. Mm. And Steve's like, well, I don't have to take down the fence. I'll have my tree climber go up there. We'll take down the tree in pieces. Nice. And it still costs me less. I'm like, well. That's fantastic. Yeah. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> Efficiency and cost effective. Nice. Exactly. Yeah. So call 865-257-6214 for Steve's tree service. Uh. Awesome. You know what we didn't talk about now that we're talking about trees? What? Throwing axes at the man show. We did throw more axes. How can we throw so many axes? It's like all we do is drink and throw axes. <laughs> We, Seems like a dangerous combination. We also. were um, invited, required, <laughs> requested. Uh, to be invited to speak at the uh, the man show for WATE. So uh, actually, it was the night before we went to Mephistopheles. So we decided, since we're going to be on stage speaking, and since we're going to the opera, to the opera afterward, we could probably get by with one outfit. Yeah. And um, you know that would be nice to stand on stage and speak and nice to go to the opera well we didn't do our homework properly we really did on the man show because it turned out to be a warm day and we ended up being outside quite a bit because um we wanted to record some footage and i couldn't record inside there was too much music happening right and i can't tell them hey you know, turn stop. off all your yeah. speakers and your 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 performers <laughs> right just so i can record some footage right. for youtube yeah so we ended up doing a lot outside including the mobile axe throwing business which was really cool it was it's a trailer with an axe lane i don't know what you would call it it's like a bowling alley except it's an axe with throwing axes, yeah. alley yeah and um we put you in there in your fancy pants suit and <laughs> um boots or shoes yeah my high-heeled boots yeah yeah it was fun i think that was the most fun I'd had, throwing axes, all dressed up, ready to go to the opera. <laughs> I, do think, I do think we could have some funny episodes where it's uh, Catherine and Frank get overdressed and go do things. Yeah, I think that would be great. You know, like we'll ride that, well, maybe not the Zorb ball, but... Mm, although that would be fun to It would be funny to watch because it's soaking wet. You know, yeah. you go in there, you're sitting in pool water and you go down right. the hill. And a tuxedo and an evening gown, that would be pretty good. Well, you know what? Let's Maybe uh, next time we're out and about, we'll hit... Because um, that looks terrifying. Let's look at some of the thrift stores. Okay. And see if we can find some formal wear that we can... <laughs> <laughs> Not worry about we can getting trash. ruined. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Here we are at the, at the water park. <laughs> Why not? You know, I think it's yeah. hilarious. Top hats, monocle, monocles, yeah. you know. So we both did okay at the axe throwing. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought that was fine. Yeah. Um, you know, still this, that thud when you miss is not as satisfying as the, it's almost quiet when you hit it. Yeah. Because when you, when you miss, it's because the axe has rotated. Too much, and yeah. either you're hitting it with the side of it instead of the blade or the handle or something like that. It's really interesting. Through all the axe throwing we've done, the different weights really do make a difference. Yeah. You know, I think you have to get find the axe that you like and carry it around with you in case you're going to well, find this axe throwing place. You've got a good point. Considering yeah. the amount of axe throwing we do, we probably should invest in our own axes. <laughs> I mean, my favorite one, honestly, was the lumberjack axe when that you, was when like fully did, weighted and on both sides. You're talking about when we did a show at actual Paula Deen's Lumberjack Feud yeah. and you were using the show axes that the real lumberjacks use. use in the show. Yes. Not the ones they let the public normally touch. Correct. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. I like that one the best. I can see why. Well, it was weighted because you have the axe in the front and in the back that it's weighted yeah, better, I think, all right. You know? So we both threw axes, but I was running the camera and we were running tight on time. And um, only one of us did the Harley Davidson simulator, which isn't really a simulator. It's an actual... Actual motorcycle. It's just that it's on, you know, propped up on stands so that the wheels don't touch anything. They just right. spin air. 
And I've always thought motorcycles are absolutely terrifying. Well, they are if you, I mean, because you could fall and you have to wear the right clothes and you could get scraped up. But I thought it would be fun dressed up yeah. to ride a motorcycle. Yeah, because it's pretend. I mean, it's yeah. totally safe. It's You, you can't right. fall. You can't do anything except rev, rev the, the engine. The engines, right? You don't even need a helmet. Right. So tell what was it like? It was awesome. I was like, oh my goodness. I sat down and I was like, oh, okay. This is why people <laughs> ride motorcycles. You could feel like it was going to be so fast. Yeah. It was loud. It's basically like being on a wave runner. I okay. Know. I thought you were going to say like a horse. I'm not. Yeah, I don't know if I've been on a horse since I was like really little. So. Well, we're supposed to do horses. That'll be fun. Soon. I think we're supposed to go to, there's a couple of, uh, for Seymour Smokies, there's a couple of horse riding places in Pigeon Forge that we're supposed to go to. I mean, I can look like I've ridden horses before. How? With the cowboy boots and that cowboy oh, okay. hat and the outfit. I can costume that. Well, I mean, I'm just saying, you, it, one time I rode an elephant, I was sore for days. <laughs> <laughs> well, an elephant is like really large. Yeah, I, you know I, I, I didn't mean, stretch a, out. I didn't yeah. do any, any yoga exercises. Yeah. <laughs> so I just got right up on there and then you're on there for like an hour and it's like by the time you're done, you're like, oh, Can't walk anymore. oh my, yeah. oh my, I've, I've, I've done yeah. something. Yeah, I haven't ridden any animals since I was like a little kid at the zoo, you know. I think I probably was on, I know I was on a horse um, and I was wearing like a full ball gown on the horse because even when I was a little girl, I would not wear like jeans at all. I had to have, I had these dresses that had bells in them. Oh my. Yeah, and I had to wear the dress. Well, trying to like find really something awesome. similar from when we go to <laughs> When we go to the horse my, place, because that's pretty guy. funny. Yeah. But the, so the Harley, you were into all that. Yeah, I was into it. That was great. Okay. And I think you got a good picture of my shoes. I tried. Because <laughs> <laughs> that would be dangerous to wear like a stiletto. No, in reality, in you reality. can't wear any of those things yeah. on a Harley. I guess that's what made it funny. Right. You know, why people are like, oh, look at the lady. Yeah. Because I brought a lady to the man show, which was also <sighs> nobody expected. No. <laughs> and I sang all those high notes. That was silly. Yeah, well, I mean, we were filling time. We yeah. had half an hour to fill. Yeah. And so we did silly. Yeah. We went silly. My friend Bean asked about it, and I said, well, I recorded the whole thing, but I really frankly don't think I could use, because we rehashed stuff we've already done and stuff right. we've already talked about. Right. And Bean's like, oh, release it as a bonus episode. Maybe. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Was well, it good? <laughs> yeah. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. We were, we're amazing. <laughs> You know what? Well, before we wrap, you know what today is? And today's the day I've got to beware. Is it the Ides Jerry's of March? Birthday? Yes. Yeah. You'd be, that's how I remember my wife's birthday. You beware the Ides of March. Is she the Ides of March? Well, I mean, that's the 50, Ides is the, fit, the half. So every month has an Ides, if I understand this correctly. So there's an Ides of February, April. You know, all the months have Ides. It's just the Ides of March is famous because of Shakespeare. Oh. You know, Brutus or somebody says to Julius Caesar, beware the Ides of March. And of course, he gets stabbed in the back by Brutus and Cassius and whomever else on the Ides of March. That's a problem. Yeah. But fortunately, that's not going to happen to Jerry. So No, no, no. She'll be fine. Happy birthday, Jerry. So I've got her a present. And I guess I can show you because... What did you do? We, by the time, Has she seen this yet? No, by the, by the time uh, she sees this episode, I will have already given it to her because okay. I'll, I'll make sure that she doesn't watch it until okay. after. All right. So here's her. Uh, Is this how you're actually going to give it to her? Well, I'm not going to. I'll take this part off. Yeah, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? No. It's wrapped. No. Not wrapped. This it's is it's very. This wrapped. is how it came <laughs> in the mail. Yeah. Oh, okay. It says right here: Polish pottery butter dish, eight inch peacock yeah. leaves. So I'm done, right? Well, what does it look like? Well, I can show you on Amazon. What are the peacock leaves? I mean, I, I bought it. I can show you the. You know, I think I, I thought I already showed you. Well, we talked about it, but you I thought picked I picked out. I thought one. I showed the picture on. Um, I guess I did pick out. Uh, you're right. I hadn't totally chosen. You hadn't chosen. So if I go to, what do I go well, to? It looks Things, like it. Your orders. It looks like it's a oh, here nice it is. size. Right here. Can go back there. I'm going to open this. No, don't open it. <laughs> here, see, this is what it looks like. Oh, nice. You put I butter in it. That's pretty. It's a, it's a dish, pretty. and you put butter in it, mm -hmm. and then it's got a blue top. and it, you know, Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. You, so, you can't tell by this. Can you see? So you're not going to unwrap this and put it in a nice package and... Well, do you want to help me with it? <sighs> oh, Frank. No. Yes, I if can, you don't I want can, to. I, mean, I can do that for you. No, if you don't want to, it's <laughs> fine. I, I see, it's, it's nice. It's good enough. <laughs> Isn't it a special birthday? 
Well, I mean, it's always a special birthday for Jerry. So I said, oh, that, yes, it is. So what I could do is I could just wrap this. No. No, I can't. You, you, you take it out of here. No. You put it in something else nice. I put like butter in, in a it? Bag. Should I put butter in it? I mean, you so could. So it's pre-buttered? That seems, that seems like something Frank would do. <laughs> How about this? How about this? How about I unpack it and go ahead and load it up with butter and put it on the table and see how long it takes her to notice. I could write the word surprise in you the butter. Get, you, I could get a toothpick okay. and I could write, or happy birthday, Jerry. You could Jerry, put like a candle in the butter. In the butter. So, but, yes. the, it, won't, but it wouldn't burn on the But you could put a candle in the butter. I'm, I'm okay with it. If you put a candle in the butter, maybe you get like a balloon and some flowers and some other like so, arrangement to go so, on the okay. table with it. So then the balloon l is lifts the lid of the <laughs> butter. <laughs> yes, it's a hot and, air, mini hot air balloon. And a that, candle. <laughs> Lights. Yeah. It'll be sure. a whole spectacle. <laughs> Can you help me with that? <laughs> sure. I need a prop master. <laughs> so, happy birthday, Jerry. Happy birthday, Jerry. I just want you to know that I got you the butter dish you want. <laughs> but you're going to have to unwrap it. Well, I, that way it won't be my fault if that goes wrong. What? Just, you know. I'd like to point out that your birthday is coming up in two weeks, and I don't know what to do about it. Well... I mean... Do you want a butter dish? <laughs> I've, got a, I've got a source. I know where to get them. I know. I got a, I got a, I got a I guy. Have, I have a butter dish, actually. I got a guy who gives... What do you want for your birthday? I don't know. Why do people ask me this? <laughs> don't you make a big production about your birthday? I don't. Oh. Well, I was going through our uh, Facebook history, like we talked about last time. Yeah. Uh, to find out, you know, when I first met you and all these things. And apparently... Two weeks after meeting you, I wished you a happy birthday, or three weeks, whatever it was, I wished you a happy birthday on Facebook. Nice. And I haven't since. Wow. But no, I also... You only wish me a happy birthday but, once. At least that I can find. Wow. But, 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 I also, around that same time, stopped doing uh, happy birthday on Facebook. Okay. And I figure if I know the person well enough to have their text number or their email address or some other way of contacting them. Then you'll contact them. Then, I'll, then I'll send them a happy birthday if I, if I know about it. I mean, a lot of times you just don't even know. Right. But if it's the only way I know them is via Facebook, then enough of this because treat others the way you want to be treated. Right. Because I found in the early days of Facebook that I was not enjoying my birthday because I felt this... Um, psychotic need to respond to every to, single post that came it, in yeah and it was an, yeah. I, I didn't know what to do it was like i can't i can't enjoy my birthday because i keep getting notification 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 and you're supposed to sit there and right and it's nice it's it nice that nice. people want yeah. to wish you a happy birthday it's to love it's lovely so i took my birthday off of facebook i didn't unpublished it or clicked don't show it so that way if you know then you can send me a note. You can send me a note on Facebook. I don't care. But it's nice. I, I appreciate it. But I don't expect it. I'm not putting it out there saying, Right. Here's you must my birthday. Greet me on my birthday. If you want to, you can. If you don't want to, you can't. You don't have to. It's it's up to you. I'm pretty bad about Facebook birthdays because I, I don't spend that much time on there. Yeah. There's, and so and, it's like, and, and I, every day yeah. there's five people at least. Yeah. And, and you've got to. So when, that's what I can't. I guess that's my problem, is I would feel so bad by missing somebody. Right, exactly. That how do I then say happy birthday to somebody I don't even know as well the next day. Right. When it's obvious that I just missed someone who's closer to me the day before. Right. So what so if just I just... Stop doing birthdays. Yeah. That's, so that's kind of where I'm at with it. That makes sense to me. So that's why I only wished you happy birthday once on Facebook when I barely knew you. Okay, that's good. Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> now that I know you, I'm like... Yeah, now that you know me, you don't have to tell me happy birthday at all. Nothing. Right. No, no, birthday, no birthday hugs. <laughs> no hugs, no happy birthday. Just like, yeah. Just maybe a, maybe a sarcastic card. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> a sarcastic look. You know. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, um, if you like uh, sarcastic humor, you might want to check out Audible for uh, a free trial, a 30-day trial at audibletrial.com slash show, where you can download anything in that first 30 days. You get a credit for one free download that you get to keep forever, regardless of whether or not you keep the Audible trial. Now, naturally, their intention is for you to keep it because it's so good and you're going to find... All these shows that you want to watch. Yeah, and you're like, I only have one credit to download? Well, of course I'm going to sign up for more. Yeah. Yeah. The shows you're going to listen to, actually, right. not watch. Yeah. yeah, podcasts and custom audio entertainment. And mostly, of course, audiobooks. That's what they're famous for. So you can find a, a book that you really want to 
read, quote unquote, but you're busy. Yeah, so you can listen to it in the car and yeah. across multiple platforms. It can play on your Siri and yeah. it picks up right where you left off, no matter what device you're listening on to. On your them. Amazon Echo, you can listen to it in bed while you're trying to drift off, you yeah. know, all the things. On your phone, all yeah. the things. So check that out at audibletrial.com slash Frank and Friends Show. In fact, if you want to send Catherine a gift subscription, you could totally. You know. Yeah, if you want to send Catherine a gift, you can just email it to uh, Frank and Friends Show at gmail.com and I'll make sure she gets it. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Just whatever you send to put from Frank on it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, uh, happy birthday, Jerry. I got all these March people. Uh, happy birthday, Jerry. And uh, <laughs> beware the Ides of March. Thanks so much for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing. Smashing that button. Telling your friends about it. Getting the notifications on YouTube uh, for listening uh, on the audio things. For buying the merchandise. At frankandfriendshow.com backslash store. That's what you could get Catherine for her birthday. Yeah, you could get me a mug. You don't need a mug. Um, a pint glass. A pint glass. That's what she needs. One for her husband and one for herself. And maybe, do we have any of those, like, bottle openers? I don't know. Okay. I don't well, think so. That would if be they, cool, If though. they have them on, on like Teespring. Like a keychain bottle opener. If that's they what have we them need. on Teespring, then, I, then we have them. Okay. I, I clicked everything. That's what we need. All right. All right. Well, we'll get you something. Cheers. Get pint glasses. <laughs> Start with that. <sighs> That would be an easy gift to get. Cider, you. pint glass. Okay. Yeah. Um, we'll be back again <laughs> with uh, more excitement. I'm not sure because it's spring break week. I got to figure out how what I'm going to do about uh, the next episode or two because uh, it's spring break and our schedules are a little off. You know. Yeah, we'll see. All right. Yeah. So uh, keep an eye out. You'll know because you've clicked notifications. <laughs> Thanks for watching the Frank and Friends Show. I'm Frank Murphy. I'm Catherine Frady. And we'll talk to you again next time, whenever that might be.